Welcome back to Gray Squadron Gaming. We have a special report today. Happy New Year's, everybody. Yay, New Year's. You guys hear it. Don's back. Don't be too I'm loud or you'll scare him away. Yeah, you guys scared me so much last time that I had to leave for another couple weeks. <laughs> but nothing to do with Disney or anything else like that. Exactly. Um, we were playing some Patreon list today. It's a ring in the new year. So we have my Patreon. It's done by Cam Nikolai, right? Nickel. Nickel. Cam no Nikolai. I. I apologize. The eye's there, but it's Nickel. silent. Um, he brought me an awesome pal plus. And if you guys notice, I'm running Empire tonight, and Don will be doing Republic just to kind of mix it up a little bit. It has nothing to do with my extreme dislike for Yoda. He didn't want to play, he didn't want to play against Yoda. Okay, so I'm running Emperor Palpatine with force reflexes, burst of speed, aggressive tactics, and anger. So it's a loaded palp. Very I've loaded. got four units of the World Guards, which I don't think we've ever seen on the channel yet. So that's we have not weird. seen that many ever. Um, they're very similar. The first two have Tenacity, Protector, and the um, Staff. And then the last two just have Tenacity and the Staff. So two of the four have Protector. So as you see, we don't own four. We have the black and the red. And then we have two units of Magna Guards, which are, which are going to be World Guards. Those, those are purple, bro. I guess they're really, really dark purple. On the camera, they look black. Um... The Magna Guard ones will be the ones with uh, Out Protector, since they're not real Royal Guards, and the Royal Guards will be the one with Protector. And then I have four Stormtroopers bringing me up to... Uh, 793. 793. So hopefully I'm blue player. You are blue player, because I made both lists. There you go. <laughs> well, I, I gathered both lists. And speaking of Patreons, thank you to all our Patreons, and a special thank you to our Commando Lover Patreon. Are you sure you don't want to read this list to Joe? Go for it, Don. Back in action, reading the Commanders. Thank you to Jason Nickercheck. Dan Duback, Jamal Alahadi, Mitchum Ernst, Alex Bingham, Michael Klein, Caleb Rogers, Anthony Johnson, Anthony Minerva, Steve Sneed, Paul Jorgensen, Staff, Justin Mode, Jess, David, Thomas Trotman, James Wood, Sam Page, Jane Alexander Hansen, Andre Moskow, Kev Powell, Gregory Williams, Eli K. Wood, Cam Nickel, Howard Robinson, Too High to Die, Anthony Bunomo, Kazran, and Zach Attack. Huge thank you to all of you guys. If you are interested in becoming our Patreons, go look at our Patreon page and support us. If not, just like this video, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube jazz. Lots of good goodies, including you get automatically, depending on what level you are, you get extra entries into all our giveaways that we have always going on. That's really cool. Um, if you're commander level, you get to add a list to our pool of commander Patreons, and we pull from that when we play these lists. So your list um, can get played on the channel as is, as you would like it played. We're also going to start a couple other things we're going to tease a little bit on the Patreon um, bonuses, something like... Maybe if you're on our Patreon Discord and you're a commander level, maybe we ask you before we film, what faction do you want to see? What map do you want to see? We want some skirmish games? want some regular? You want some mission games from the down, I don't know, X-Wing kit or something? Just some maybe examples. Maybe we could be doing that eventually. I might be painting it as you we speak. You may or may not be painting it. If you're in the Discord, you may or may not have seen the teaser for that painting. There you go. Join the Discord if you're not. You don't have to be a Patreon. Just join it. Come talk to us. Hang out. It's a really active di Discord. Great people. I can talk. Shut up, Joe. We were Let's very active us. Discord, yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> with that said, let's go check out the other list tonight. <laughs> All right, and for my Patreon list, I am running uh, Mitchum Ernst. He didn't actually send in a specific list. He just said he wanted Yoda and he wanted Wookiees. So I actually made this list myself. Uh, I have Yoda with Force Barrier, Force Reflexes, and Force Push. I have Chewie with Protector and Tenacity. I have three units of working warriors, all with the battle shield and tenacity. Then I have three units of phase ones, and one of those phase ones has the medic. So I am exactly 800 points. Joe's going to be blue player. We're going to go take a look at the deck he's got for his list. And if you haven't seen by now, we are partnering with the good guy over at ASR Miniature Arts. I'm going to throw up some of his pictures on the screen as I'm talking that he's done in the past. He is working on some specific models for the channel, which we get in person, we'll show you in depth about as well. If you need anything painted, you got a lot of stuff for Christmas, you're like, I can't keep up with this, or you just don't want to paint it, or you want it expertly painted, reach out to him. I have his Facebook below, I have his Instagram below. Super cool guy, we'll get you his work done really quickly for a really good price. Check him out, we'll show you his stuff. When we come live, as you're seeing some of these pictures, like Dominic likes his Magna Guards, awesome. I really enjoy his Boba, that's why I'm showing it first. His palp with the Royal Guards have a good contrast to them, too. I really too. like those guys, too, yeah. If you guys haven't got a hint yet, as soon as we get the rest of our stuff done, we're probably going to do some MCP videos as well. So there's some Marvel Maybe. characters we're showing <laughs> as well. But check them out. Awesome guy. Okay, a lot of this is shiny, so I'm going to show you slowly. Well, we got two more cards from Paul Jorgensen. He gave us a Darth Vader alt art and a Chewbacca alt art. Once again, how do you enter this? You just comment below. And then we have some from our sponsor at Curl Pod. Now, these are special. These aren't like the normal ones you could buy from a store. They're, right. they're mirrored. So you see these how much 
Special Gray Squadron Gaming Edition. They're very shiny, and they look even better in person with the camera reflected. Yeah, they are awesome. Same with the uh, suppression. It's it's shiny, you can see from the camera. It's not as shiny as the blue, because it's mirrored black, with black. Yeah. But these are exclusive to us for this giveaway. So a winner will get a set of eight suppression and all the bounties. We have three to give away this month, or a little longer than a month. We'll see how long this one goes. And two cards. Comment below. Word of the day is going to be pending. We'll let you know. We'll let you know soon. With that said, these are... Pop of Palps cards. Pop of Palp doesn't, uh... Oh, it's an interesting one, guys, because I have Melee, but he's got Melee, so it's like... There's a lot of Melee. It is a Melee heavy lists. I think I'm going to keep as is, actually, though. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. I think I'm okay with Payload Supply in advance. Interesting. Yeah, I know. Man. I, I feel like I'm, I'm kind of the same. Yeah, you're going to pass? I think I'm going to pass, too. And this is where I usually will surprise them and flip something just to mess with them, which I think I'm going to do. A little danger close. Ooh. A, little, a little dangerous. Dang danger close payload is going to be an <laughs> extremely interesting <laughs> game. Um, Would you like to flip something? You could make it hemmed in. Hemmed in, hemmed in, uh, hemmed in payload also seems very interesting, but not good for me as the red player. Um... Let's get rid of supply drop. We've had too many supplies lately. Okay. Not that I've been on the channel lately, but <laughs> danger, fortified, and payload. We'll get the board set up, show you off the board we're playing on, talk about the cover, talk about the objective. Also, show you two more of our sponsors real quick, and we'll get started. Big shout out to J Square Design. It has these awesome template holders that you push down to get your templates out or your rollers out. It holds a silhouette that comes included as well. Magnum topped. Not magnum that. Bottom. Not that silhouette. Not that silhouette, yeah. One of our official silhouettes. <laughs> um, also have this order token holder that's been selling really good lately, so I kind of want to show it to you. Um, they updated this to hold a few more tokens, but on the bottom of it, it has the symbol of what token goes into the well that you took from. Check them out. If you have fifth trooper tokens or you have other branded um, poker chip tokens, let them know. They have files. They could just send you the one with the correct height and depth to fit those. With that said, they also make this nifty holder for Curlpot Creatives tokens. This only holds Curlpot Creative tokens. Speaking of Curlpot Creative... If you want a discount on Curl Park Creative's tokens or other things at their store, it is GSG 12 for 12% off. As you see, it holds all the cool things. Especially those sweet bounty tokens. The suppression is double-sided with a 3 and a 1. The damage is also double-sided 3 and a 1. Deployment markers, etc. Go check out Curl Pot, Check out J Squared. Also, let's look at this map. We have this awesome waterfall back again. This is from Foo Fighter Ubu. She custom-made this for us. I made the river very different this time because she gives you so many river connectors. You can just go crazy yeah. with it. So I want to do something fun. But yes, this is from Foo Fighter Ubu. Awesome custom waterfall. I told her I wanted something that Ewoks lived in. She made these little passageways for the Ewoks. This little bridge on top. It looks really awesome. God, I cannot wait for Ewoks to come. I can't either. So if you were looking for some custom training you want to work with her, her information is below. She's awesome at Foo Fighter Ubu. With that said, last but not least for our sponsors for this week, we have Legion Train. Makes this awesome. Dish, I've showed off a few times. I got some of their trees connected. Um, this is the bridge work. Only got one set there for this map, at least. We have, This is also theirs. That sweet bunker is theirs. That tree stump. All the little colored scatter around the map, including on top of here. There, there, and that stump is also theirs as well. Check out Legion Train. You want discount codes, we got them. You need to get 12% <laughs> off single items. Or if you get one of their 3x3 three three table full of train, if you will, they discount for that at 10, but we can get you an extra percentage off that as well. So check out the link below. Check out all these great people. With that said, look at the map as you're looking at it. Here's where we're at today. We're at some kind of imperial facility on this foresty moon. I don't know. Waterfall. Obviously provides heavy cover. The river is difficult terrain, no cover. And the downed TIE fighter, the TIE defender over there, the TIE bomber, the bunker, the satellite dish, and of course the bear cage all heavy cover. Same with these big trees. The scatter train, which all these orange, red, and yellow gray pieces, those are all going to be light. And the stumps will also only be light. I think it's everything. Um, oh, he picked this for my piece I have to get to. And there's his bombing cart. There's his bombing cart. My bombing cart's up here. And, he, and I it's picked... Payload. It's not a bomb cart, man. Oh, payload. Sorry. Payload. And I picked the... Defender. Defender. And I have one unit of uh, roller guards, not Magnus, the roller guards, just to kind of harass his cart. And he's got the rest of his forces all over here with Yoda and everybody. And I got Palp, who's like Guardian 50 over there. So he should be okay <laughs> to move up the field. That's so much Guardian. I could have made it more, but I needed someone to harass these guys. So much Guardian. Let's go to the cards. Look at 
looking at J-Square Design's newer um, dashboard, what's new about it, you say? Well, it's a little smaller in the bottom. They made it a little more streamlined. The back doesn't have those big wedges to hold up the board. It now fits in this great little slot. slot. Um, so this will be something they're going to be switching to here shortly. Not yet. They still have stock of the old stuff. But it comes with normal black lettering. He, uh, he just colored these white. Something you can do really easily if you wanted yours to look like that. But I wanted to show it off for a second because we always use their dashboards. They're great. Order-wise, um, well, everyone he can use, which is pretty much everyone over here. <laughs> no one over there because he can't reach them. And I went with standing orders, which is going to go on Pal. With that said, I believe a 3-bit beats a 4-bit laps when I played this game, so let's go to him. I don't think that's right. Going with my stack first here. It's going to be a core. We're going to go with the shiny unit. They're just going to move up over here a little bit. And they're going to take a shot into the uh, Magna Guard over there. And we'll go to the dice box for the first shot of the game. All right, so it's just four naked black dice against our friendly neighborhood um, Royal Guard. That's a, that's a solid, solid start to the game. I'm pretty sure it's all cover. I think we look. Okay, it does have heavy cover. That's that nice big thick tree leg that kind of sticks out there. I think Let's it's called a branch, too. actually. Branches are above. It's like more of like a root. Or a root. A root. All right, I think our first one. Wound. It's nasty. It's activated. I right. my stack and pull the core. We're gonna take these uh, dark storm troopers here. They're gonna move up to the edge of this right here for their first action. Getting some nice, sweet barrier cover that was definitely not fortified. And they're gonna take a nice, uh, nice little standby. Just see if those wookies wanna poke their heads out a little bit. Standing by. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my stack here. It's gonna be the purple unit. So I'm just gonna move this wookie out of the way real quick. I'm gonna move these purple boys. In a manner that they can also take a shot on the Magna Guards. See if we can't drop one before they activate. Sorry right, guys, these are Royal Guards, not Magna Guards. I just keep looking at the model. And I have words. It's okay. Alright, so Heavy Cover is going to take away two. So you're looking at one. Okay, naked black dice roll from Dawn though. Ooh, they do not surge. So that is one Magna or uh, Royal Guard off the fort. In my stack, we've got Stormtroopers. These guys probably start moving up to the front a little bit here. They'll move one and they'll move two right to here. And they're called right. a day. Moving and backing up the black troopers. All right, we're going to go over here. We're going to go with Chewbacca. He's going to do just a slight move up here. He's going to take a shot into the black troopers over there that have a standby, but he's out of range too, so we won't go off. All right, so Chewie has two reds, two whites, critical one, impact one, pierce one. Impact's not going to do anything here, but critical and impact, or and pierce will help. Uh, I do have two aims and two surges available from uh, Yoda. I don't need surges because I surge to hit. Um, let's see what we can do. All right, so the critical one will kick in there. And I don't think I'm going to be doing a lot of shooting, so I'll spend the, one of the aims off of Yoda. And that will surge to a hit. Heavy cover will take it down, so you're looking at two pierce one. Block so got one. So one down. Here my stack. We've got the mangas. Let's try or the mangas. The road guards. Let's try Aha, these guys. you did it too. Ooh, one action only. Um, what did mighty Royal Guards do in this situation? I don't know. I don't know. It's not going to stop rolling all natty hits on black dice. So no, we're no, no, play no. Play a normal game here. No, you don't have to worry about hits. We can go there. Alrighty. We'll go here up to here as much as we can. We'll call it a day. Moving up and out of the way with the Magnus. There we go. Sounds good. All right, going to my last in my stack here. It's going to be the Wookiees over here. Uh, we're going to flip the shield to uh, battle mode. And we are just going to move one over there. And then let's make it so that the bomb card or payload will have a place to move. Yeah, so that looks good. We'll sit right here with these guys, and that'll be it. So my staff, we've got the uh, red and white boils here. Chewie's in range, so we're just gonna take an aim with our preciseness and shoot into that little Wookiee over there. Aim at Chewie, <laughs> Chewie. Joe's got to supply the Wookiee noises. So. <laughs> Four white dice, search to hit. Precise one with name. Heavy cover, Chewie. We'll use that precise one right now. Alrighty. We've got three, so you're working out one getting through. All right, we'll go ahead and we'll spend the first dodge off of Yoda. All right, so we're just going to go over here to this first unit of Wookiees. Uh, they're going to stay in defense mode. So they're just going to do a bit of a double move over here behind this tree stump, and that will be them. 
Okay. For my stack, I've got Special Forces. It's going to be some more Magna Guard boys. So we're going to move them out. The well, these ones are Magna Guards. The Royal Magna Guards? <laughs> the Royal Magna Guards. And then he's just going to kind of use the speed one and kind of just come like, whoop, to come right here. Okay. Just to move up a little bit, but keeping that range one of palp if if they're, you know, needed. Sure, sure. All right, going to our next unit of Wookiees over here. These guys will also stay in defensive shield mode. They're just going to snuggle on up to their friends over here, and I'm going to knock everything down because that's how I roll. It's always a good method. Hey, I'll move there. From a stack, we've got the last Special Forces without an order on them. The Grape Imperial Guard. So he'll come to about here for his first move because he can't quite make it all the way. Sure. And then we'll come to about the edge here. Moving I'll and barricading. Rico here like so, and we're just going to chill there. All right, so we're going to my clones over here. These guys are going to just move up next to Mr. Yoda. We're going to go ahead and take a shot into the uh, the black stormtroopers that we suppressed earlier. All right, so our medic unit, that's five clones. Uh, the medic is not a non-combatant, so he gets to add a black dice to this. So it's five blacks into heavy cover stormtroopers. Yoda has one more aim left and two surges if I would like them. But who needs those Man, you're when you're close. rolling like this? Uh, we'll go ahead and spend Yoda's aim just to throw a couple more crits in there. Those go Joe's, away. Joe's going to be throwing the salt crown on in here, no, maybe. Okay, okay, let's go away. Let's go away. All right, three I'm just debating if I want to protect her one of them, just to kind of... That way the unit can't die if I blank here. This is this is a fact, plus you could activate a tenacity, because if you want to I think I'm going to protect her one. Got off the purple um, people who moved right next to them. Right, purple they'll protect her. So they'll pop the protector, sure. take one of those crits. We take will take it. All right. And then the stormtroopers will take two. And they'll block both. All so right. just, the, just the royal guard comes out with one. But that's that's okay. Last in my stack is a core. We're going to go with these purple and white guys right here. They're just going to take an aim and shoot Chewie again. All right. Shooting at Chewie. I'm going to have black dice. That's not wrong. That's clones. <laughs> Let me grab these white dice. That's better. But I have precise ones. So, and that's I searched to hit. So that's something. Okay, four whites. There's one we served. We'll use that precise one again. Okay. So we need a couple more conversions here. So we got two, two so just a suppression. Just suppression for Chewy. All right, last for me is going to be the Yodster himself. He's just going to go ahead and double move. Uh, we're just going to end him right in the middle of the Wookiee Swarm here. And then he is going to take a uh, free dodge with Force Reflexes, just in case uh, Joe gets crazy over here. Fuzzy and warm they are. <laughs> mm. Let's go with my Royal Guards first. They were entourage over here, so they're going to... I'm just going to go this way, actually. It doesn't really matter which Whee! way I go here. And then we're just going to start moving on up like so, but not getting in the path of the bummer. We're just going to go a little shy of the full movement. Sounds good. Get all these guys back. Get the lines up. And since Dawn's out of activations, all out. we'll go right to Mr. Palpy Palp. Coming first and one activation less. Palp will come up one. Then he's going to come up and see if we can get our hand in here to look at the two. Look at the other sure, ones. Sure, sure. What about here? Yes, yes, excellent. Round two, where I went with an entire legion, which I give units or order to every unit, but no special token share on the Yoda. Yoda has There's No Try, which is the Yoda and one other trooper. They gain outmaneuver relentless and one dodge token. And if Lumen beings were in his discard pile, they are, he gets to bring it back, which he did. He gave his orders to Yoda and Chewie, the two big dogs on his team. And I gave mine to everyone over there, which is my stack consists of these royal guards over here. Two pip beats, three pip. Don goes first. We go to my stack over here. It's just brought the one because it's all the way over there. But we're gonna go with the shinies over here. They're gonna take an aim and a dodge because clones can share tokens. They can. You haven't needed to for aims really, but right. but they can. Go to my stack or my stack, my control here. We're gonna move this guy up just a little bit, right right next to this guy here. We'll reco here like so. Just wants to keep everybody purple next to each other. Yeah, they're just that's just where we're ranked in pile, guys. Come on. And they're gonna go ahead and take a shot at um. That's not a purple. Oh, they're all right there. We'll take a shot too. <laughs> Shooting at Chewie. Four white dice with no aim this time. Surging the hit. He has head and dodge. We got one, which means you get a suppression. It's suppression for Chewie. All right, before Chewie gets much more suppression, we're going to go ahead and go with him. He's got two right now. He's going to take one off, so we do get two actions. Uh, he's going to take an aim for his first action. And he's going to start uh, retreating back. Just making sure where, where we want to be. He's going to move over here with all the rest of the Wookiees. And then uh, Yoda's card gave him an outmaneuver, or not outmaneuver, relentless. So we will go ahead and use that relentless to take a shot into the stormtroopers that I've been shooting the whole time. All right, so Chewie's going to be shooting his two reds, two whites, critical one, uh, pierce one, into the heavy cover. Stormtroopers, with a name. 
We're going to spend the aim on these two. Ooh, double red blank. So crit one will go there. So we'll one pass one. Happily take it. There, you got to pierce it too. Crit my stack. We'll go with these stormtroopers here. Sure. And move up to that bombing cart. It's such a nice cart. They just want to push things. Move up like so. Wookies them a little bit. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to shoot uh, this Wookiee unit here, this one. Man. All right, shooting at the Wookiees in light cover. Armor one. Four white dice. Surging hit. Ooh, there's three. So one will take armor, one will take cover. So you're looking at one. We're looking at one. Uh, we will. Um... <laughs> what do you got to play? Barrier. Oh, barrier, gotcha. I don't know if I want to use it yet. We're going to roll for it. So we'll take a wound. That'll activate their tenacity if they need it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and activate, or go to the stack. It's the special forces. We're going to go with these Wookiees. We're going to flip their shield. I know they're the old school Wookiees, so I don't actually have a shield for them. But we'll flip their shield. So we'll do a speed one move. And we will pop them right here. We'll take a shot into the uh, Royal Guard over here and see what happens. All right, so the Wookiees are going to throw in a black, white each. That's four blacks, four whites. Surge to hit into light cover because of their suppression. Royal Guards. Um, it's going to be two after cover. This will surge and then get taken by the cover. Come on, dice. Come on, dice. We'll block one, take one. Going to my stack are these guards here. Let's rally, see if we can get it off. We do not. <laughs> oh, that is not fortunate. So I guess we just shoot you back. Shooting back at the Wookiees. Six black dice going against the Wookiees who just have armor on. We got three. One will go to armor, right. so two. One goes to armor, so two on the Wookiees. So that'll be two wounds for the Wookiees. Going to my stack again. I got a core. We're going to go with the purple guys here. They are just going to hog the bomb cart in these Wookiees. We will just go here, then back here. Let's see if that's legal. And he'll shoot the Royal Guard. And shoot the Royal Guard. All right, so this is going to be four blacks into light cover. I do have access to the aim that our shinies took. We'll spend that aim. And uh, we lose one to cover, so Joe's rolling for three. Man, last, black video, last video you guys saw the clones did not roll like this. No. Oof. Okay. We're going to go with the uh, last storm troopers with the red guys here. I think we're just going to move up and out a little bit here. Let's get out here. I'll recoil here and I'm going to shoot the clones. Not my clones. Four white dice. Surgeon hit. He's got heavy cover. Nothing. All right. was a blank I think I hit. It's true. All right, going to go over to the stack here. It's going to be a special forces. Let's go with this uh, stabby unit of Wookiee warriors. They're going to and take an aim and we'll shoot into the red stormtroopers that just moved up. All right, so it's going to be four blacks, four whites into heavy cover with an aim token surging to hit. So these are all hits. Hit and hit. We will spend the aim token on these two. And those will go to the heavy covers. So you're looking at four. You do have guardian options if you would like to. I don't think so. Maybe one on the uh on the magna looking guards. The non-protector unit. Okay. The we'll guardian one. unit will guardian one. They're fine, and then the stormtroopers will take the remaining three. And they're, and they're fine. fine. Holy there smokes. we go. We're going to go with, we're going to go with the Royal Guards back here. The one, two, Guardian, but didn't take any damage because they're awesome like that. Awesome. So, so they're going to move up to about here. Sure. And we're going to take a shot. Sounds uh, like one of the Wookiee units. I'm going to look at them and see which one. Sounds okay, good. eight dice shooting the Wookiee unit. They're um, the ones that don't have damage because they have no cover from where they're standing. So we just have to worry about the stupid Force Barrier. Stupid Force Barrier. Eight black dice. That's all I got. No they have armor. Surges. They have armor one. You're right. Oh, it looks really good if you, if you, you know, crit. Like surged. So just two, just again. Two. This is really um, all I can get through. I'll go ahead and barrier the crit, yeah, doesn't matter. Just crit. Sounds cooler. And then we'll take one wound on them. All right, go to the stack here. It's gonna be special forces. We'll go with the Wookiees that Joe just shot over here. They do have one suppression, they're indomitable, and they're gonna take that right off. And they're gonna take an aim and they're gonna shoot at, pretty sure it's just the Royal Guard that walked up to them. Yeah, I measured before those guys were just out. I think I wiggled them. So we'll shoot the Royal Guards and we'll go to the box. All right, so we're looking at four blacks, four whites. Search to hit to light cover Royal Guards. And the dice continue to go my way. 
We will spend the aim. I think this was something. That was a hit, yes. Whatever. Be a hit. And that one will be a hit as well. Light cover goes there, you'll get four. Ooh, three wounds. Okay. Build my purple royal guards. Sure. They're gonna move up as best they can here. Sounds good. Right here. Okay. And I think what they're gonna do, besides cohesion to cover, because that's how you should do this. Generally, yeah. Um, I think what we're gonna do now is I think we'll shoot. Sure, shooting. Shoot some more Wookiees and see if we can get lucky. Shooting some Wookiees, getting lucky. Eight black dice, shooting in. Oh look, it's three again, which becomes two. Or one. One, yep. Alrighty. And they'll block it just to be sad. Right, we're gonna go over here to the last of my stack, which is gonna be the medics over here. They uh, don't really want to heal any of these one wounded Wookiees because tenacity is a thing. They're just gonna move back here. Oh, poor Don is really so good healing. Yes, one wound. And uh, we're gonna take a shot into the Royal Guard that we uh, have already wounded a little bit here. And we'll go to the fight. So it's gonna be five blacks into heavy cover. And you're looking at one after the cover takes away two. It's the same roll my uh, eight dice do normally. Okay, that's good. Oh, we'll look, blocked one. Go to my stack. We've got world guards here. Sorry, I stood on the wrong side of Joe, so this is going to be all sorts of awkward. He uses the rest. Well, uh, oh, don't, don't take the other guy with them. Oh. So we'll come to here, touching this barrier. These guys all cohesed behind them. And guess what? We're going to shoot them for really no reason. But Shooting it's fun. some lucky. Well, it's the exact same roll we've had three times. Can we average more than two hits in a crit is the question. Let's see. No, uh, less. You can go less if you mm -hmm. like. So there's nothing. That's another suppression of the Wookiee. Uh, last but not least, we're going to have Yoda. He's going to go ahead and uh, we'll get another dodge from Force Reflexes because we can. And then uh, we will uh, we'll shoot into the, uh, the Royal Guards here. We do that twice with his mastery, and that is also going to give me two dodges. And then we're going to bring back our force reflexes and our force barrier with Master of the Force 2. All right, so this is four black dice. It is blast and suppressive surge to crit onto um, the Magna Guard. Or, I'm sorry, Royal Guards that are Magna Guards. So that's three. Okay. Block all three, though. And then another round of the same thing for two this time. To go through. Let's go, pal. The Imperial Army can't kill anything in this game, so we're going to try to do something funny. We're going to move pal up like so, as much as we can. And then we'll shoot at range two at these Wookiees that we've been wanting to. Alright. Two reds, two blacks, two lights, surging the crate. He's got light cover, heavy cover, whatever. Heavy cover. Well, you can't stop two crits. Pierce two. I That's cannot. a Wookiee dead. So I'm going to barrier one of the crits oh, together never mind. and then take a one. End of round two, my bomb current moved there, his bomb current moved there. Um, let's see. We've lost one, two, three, four, five roller guards and two stormtroopers. He's lost nothing so far. <laughs> Dice gods have chosen so far. We'll see if round three turns anything around. And now you will die. It's Emperor Palp. Palp says, During Palp's activation, he may suffer one wound and gain one suppression to form an attack. He may do this any number of times after Emperor Palpatine. For his attack, the defender gains an immobile ice token. Size matters not. Yoda gains jump one, charge, disengage, and treats the maximum speed to three. During his activation, he may perform any action up to two times, and he brings there is no try back into his hand. Yoda, Palp, Entourage, to remove two suppression from the heavily suppressed guys. So, because of discipline too. Sure. I won the roll off. Palp goes first. I'm gonna go with Palp, because why not? I'm gonna put a firecracker in my butt, light the fuse, and go some burst of speed. Let's do it. Never seen an old man hobble so fast in your life. What about there? I mean, that's when he gets all crazy and all jumpy. We'll go a little bit farther there. We've got a couple of guardians and elite chargers. That's nice. Seconds. That's nice. Um, my second action will be to shoot. Um, we got a whole bunch of stuff to shoot here. One, two, one, two, one, two, three out of cover there. Two in cover. No. Yeah, let's shoot the Wookiee unit that's wounded first. We'll start with them. The more wounded unit? Okay. Yeah, and then we'll start spreading the love around. Let's do some shooting. Two reds, two blacks, two whites. Um, what is it? Crit I surge to crit. Surge to crit. Here's two and suppress it. It's not impact though. Interesting. No impact, no. Okay. Alright, so two crits there. Just two crits there. No force so barrier armor, to play there. Armor will kick through. Armor will uh, that's two, two pierce. Yeah, he, so it's a dead Wookiee with a wound on another one. 
Alrighty, so that's a dead volcano wound. Here, I'm going to take a wound, which gives me a free aim because of anger. Sure does. And then I'm going to... Um, and now you will die. And now I'm going to shoot Yoda, because I want to start getting those immobilized tokens shoot out. Yoda, okay. Yeah, I think so. Sounds good. And I'm going to reroll these two with the aim. Sounds good. Alright. I think we'll take... Let's choose Guardian 4. I think it's 2 only for Commander. Is it Commander 2? Mm -hmm. um, we'll take 2 on Chewie. Okay, and you have Pierce. Do you want to use so the Pierce on Chewie or on well, Yoda? I have to use at least one, right? Well, Yoda's immune Pierce, so we would use. You I would use, use both, both on Chewie. Then, so it doesn't matter, matter what it was. All right, so Chewie's going to take two wounds. Yoda is going to take nothing. Okay, we should Yoda again. Okay. Got my three aim from anger. Spending my aim. Oh, that's some good stuff. And last time he did not have light cover, so we screwed up. So I'm not taking one away for this. All right, light cover. yeah, that, that makes sense. Just to make up for that's it. That's fair. Um, Chewie will go ahead and Guardian 2. Do you want to use the Pierce? I'm going to use the Pierce too. So Chewie's up to four wounds. Yoda's then going to be rolling for four. And he'll block two, take two. That's not great for him. We're going to do the same exact attack again on Yoda, which gives me an aim. That way he's fully immobilized after this. That sounds fair. We'll roll these two with the aim. And we'll move one. Now you have light cover because of your suppression. Cover we'll take that. Should we Should we he'll two take again? two. So he'll take two wounds. So he's up to six. Yep. Yodel will roll for two. Oof. So taking three. So Yodel's up to three now. Okay, let's pause for a second. Let me take a look at the game state. Okay, the last one we're going to take the, the final wound we can take to um, do this one more time. Chewie's on the three health. So we're going to shoot Chewie. Sounds good. I think we're going to hope for the best here. Or, or we shoot Yoda and make you Guardian it off to keep him alive. I'm so torn on this one because Chewie's going to have heavy cover from where he's at. Yoda wouldn't. If I kill Yoda, that's huge. I'm shooting Yoda again. Okay. Well, Yoda will lose, we'll lose one to cover. And Yoda's pretty hurt, so I'm curious what you're going to do with Chewie here. Yeah, so Chewie's going to take his two. So Chewie does? Pierce those. So Chewie oh. has one left. Chewie has one off. Yep. And then Yoda's rolling for three with two health left. Scary guy, scary times, guys. He takes one wound, he goes down to one health. So Yoda and Pal end up with one health each at the end of this. And Chewie, too. Exchange. And Chewie. All right, so we went to the dice box. I'm going to go with Yoda. He has eight suppression from his suppressive shots from Pal here. So Pal bomb. too much to roll on the table. We're going to pull off three, which still leaves him with five. He's not panicked, though. It's that not panicked, but he only him. does get one action. So let's, let's go look at what that is. All right, so I had pulled off five, uh, th three of these suppression. So five of them remain. I do have three immobilized tokens, so that means I cannot use my speed three that I just got from Yoda's card. I'm going to go ahead and take a dodge with force, re force reflexes. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use force push to take Pal up and say, hey, let me introduce you to some of my friends here. Does he make it? They are these Wookiees. Oh, yeah. Can't see, always so he's going to bring him into these Wookiees. They're going to go ahead and surround him. And then... We still have a wound over there. That's all Palps nonsense. And then for my action, I'm going to go ahead and shoot my Force Wave into the wounded um, Royal Guards over there. Because I have four aims from Palp shooting me all the time. We definitely didn't forget aggressive tactics on my army last round. That would have probably helped it. me a little it bit. It would have helped significantly. All right, so this is Yoda's Force Wave. It's going to be four blacks, blast, suppressive, into the two remaining oil guards with three health left. I had four aims. I didn't bring all the aims over the box. We will spend one aim and two aims and three aims. Three aims is all it took. You're looking at four, sir. I will take one. Taking one. Okay, Chewie has one health from all that gardening he did, so let's go give him a nice little hug. So we can definitely get there with two moves. The purple royal guards are going to come and fully engulf the lovely Chewbacca and see if we can pound him to death. Sounds good. Give Chewbacca that pounding. Let's go to the dice box. Okay, we've got two blacks from Electric Staff Guy, a red and a black for each of the other guys. So we're looking at five blacks, three reds. Uh, oh, no, it's nasty because I do have one wound there, so let me add that fourth red here. There I have go. one surge token, no aims. He's got one health left. It'll be fine, Chewie. It will be fine. So I can't reroll our teeny surges, but that seems like that's pretty good against white dice. Well, you can surprise me. <laughs> I don't know. Six seems pretty unlikely here for Chewbacca. I do have two surge tokens on him as well, uh, but they're not going to help at all. So Chewie's going to go down there. 
What do I stack here? It's going to be a special forces. We're going to go with the Wookiees that are not engaged here. And these guys are going to wrap around the tree here. And then we're going to charge into the World Guards over here. And we will go okay. to the dice box. All right, so we did forget to uh, show the roll off, but I rolled four, uh, six red dice with Indomitable, and we rolled all of their six suppression off. So I did get the two actions that I am making sure. Uh, one Wookiee is down, so it's going to be four blacks, and then the shield's giving me two reds. I'm also going to get a red from Tenacity into these Royal Guards. That's not going to be too bad for six. Oh, okay, it's just fine. Six dice. Oof. Look at my stack. Oh, look, special forces. Hey, at least you get two actions this oh, time. Oh, he doesn't roll off still. <laughs> well, that is something. That's something. Well, okay, we didn't charge, so we'll aim and we'll charge. All right, aiming and charging into the Wookiees over here. We'll go to the dice box. Two reds, one from Snassy, one from my regular, and a black. Surging to nothing, but I have an aim. An aim and the black. I rolled so many black surges to you have a roll of quite a few. Sir. There you go, all three into the Wookiees. They have their shield up, so one goes away, right? Shield still kicks in. Not gonna block it, so two wounds. So there's one Wookiee dead and a wound on another. All right, so going to my stack here. It's gonna be a core. We're gonna go with the medical unit back here. They are gonna use their medic to take one wound off of uh, Yoda. And then they are going to move up here. Just past the Wookiee. We're gonna take a shot into the Magna Guards. All right, so it's gonna be five blasts into heavy cover on the Magna Guard. Jeez. Uh, you don't get a two crits, bud. Oh, just. All right, one wound. Oh, we got a core. Give all this guy's tokens, because he's, he's <laughs> fine. Move up to here. Sure. Or we can test that box a little bit. A little bit. We'll, um, We'll shoot, um, yeah, you always got 50 dodges at this point now, right? Uh, just two. Oh, just two, huh? Well, the only person that's shootable, I guess, is the clone unit, so sure, they're on the open, let's shoot them. Shooting some clones. Four-way dice. Searching ahead. All right, um, and we'll barrier the crit, because we can. Make the clones roll for one. Oh, look, they All got right. it. I'm going to stack here. It's going to be Special Forces. We'll go with the Wookiees that are over here. We're going to go ahead and flip the shield to the Battle Shield, and then we are going to aim and punch this last Magna. All right, so that's going to be four blacks for our two standard Wookiees, two reds for our Battle Shield in Battle Mode, and one red for Tenacity with an aim surging to hit into the Magna. Ooh. The blacks have failed. No, you should have given them a side. It's fine. fine. So you're looking at that five-pack there, buddy. With your one health magna here. I have two elves. Don't I? No, he's got one on. Well, he's got, he has Pierce. Doesn't matter they roll. Oh, look, only one block again. We got a, we got a core. It's core. I guess it's going to be a stupid stormtrooper. Joe's a big fan of the stormtroopers. It's just useless in this game today. When dice don't matter. Um, Let's just shoot Yoda for fun. Let's see if, we can, let's see if I can lose some units on my own thing. Shooting Yoda. Four white dice, surging to hit. Really just looking for crits here. Oh, look. Not a crit there. All right, going to go over here to the Shinies. Uh, got, went to the sack, got a core. We'll go to the Shiny guys. They're going to double move. See if they need to start supporting the uh, the Pelp line over here. So we'll move over here into cover. That'll be that. Oh, look, a Stormtrooper. We can move all the way up, so let's just move up to here to get contest. Sure, sure. And we'll shoot Yoda. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered last time who I shot, because I blamed. So let's just shoot Yoda again. Moving and shooting Yoda. Four white dice, surging to hit, really just looking for crits. Come on. Nice cover Yoda. Statistically, there has to be some crits on the dice. There's one. And there's a crit on that die. That hit will go away to cover. And you have crits. Just to cover. Yoda takes a wound. He's back up to four. I'm going here. That's a dead Chewbacca. This is going to be a special forces. We'll go with the Wookiees that are engaged with Pelt. And they will go ahead and swing into him. All right, they're going to aim and then swing. All right, so they did flip their shield. So it's going to be three reds with tenacity from their one wound. Six blacks. With an end token, surging to hit, into palp. I believe does have a dodge. He does. So we will go ahead and spend the aim on those two. And you're going to dodge one. Sure, why not? So you're going to have five. Oh, just five? I I have definitely rolled some great red defense dice tonight, so I'm sure this will be five. 
Five dice, research of defense. Nope, he did. That's dead. the one I needed. Okay. You guys push forces, these guys, they're gonna go ahead and aim and attack. Aim and hitting some Wookiees. Okay, we've got uh, a red and black and a black black for the heavy and then an extra red for tenacity. Uh, with an aim, swinging into these Wookiees who have their shield back behind their head, not in front of them. Correct. It's in pointy mode, not stabby mode. Well, we don't surge, so we'll put the aim on those two. Still in surge. That's okay. That's four to the Wookiees. They've locked none, so that will kill a Wookiee and put an additional wound. So those, that unit will be two Wookiees with two wounds on one. My last my stack is going to be the Purple Core here. These guys are now going to be tasked with the moving of the cart. So they're just going to move up here and move over there, and that will be them. I'm going to go with these guys. They're just going to take an aim and see if they can roll some crits. All right, aim and shoot Yoda. Two white dice with an aim looking for nothing but crits. Nothing? Nope. Aim and aim. Nothing. Last, got my last roll guard. He's got force suppression on him, so we need to roll some dice here. Oh, man. <laughs> when it doesn't matter, wow. Joe, Joe gets all the suppression. That's off. a beautiful suppression roll, buddy. That was a little late. That's okay. What's we'll two just, actions? Would we'll you like that guy? We'll move in here and okay. melee him. Moving in melee. And then we'll... Uh, or we'll aim, I guess. I was going to say aim, aim and, charge. and charge. That makes more sense. So red and black, plus a red for tenacity with an aim. His one Wookiee has one. His shield Wookiee only has one health left. That's true. It's a great start. Oof. Give me the block just to make him mad. Oh, it wanted to be for a second, but the shield Wookiee goes down. Oh, yeah, we're going to move the cards in a second. But I have one unit of healthy roll guards left. He's got a unit of pretty healthy Wookiees there. Yoda's got one health. The clones have used their med. I've got a mess of stormtroopers with a couple of royal guards there. His Wookiee's down to his unit leader. But this bomb card's pretty much secure at this point. I don't really have anything to chase it down. But if I can kill enough and get through, maybe. But Empire needs, uh, needs some luck. We need Palp's Force Ghost to come back and help us. Okay, welcome to round four. Where he, I went with the ambush and he went with Luminous Bings. Are you guys know this one? He gets two aims, two dodges, two surges. He cannot attack. Friendly units were when they could spend his tokens and he brings the size mayor slot back into his pool. My field promotion went to the purple unit. They took a um, a command. Um, he gave his orders to everybody he could reach. That's how that card works. We're going to take an aim. We're just going to go right off this, guys. Take an aim and we're going to do what really matters here. He's got one health left. I figured I have better odds of meleeing him than I do um, shooting him with my dice pull. So let's try it. True. Okay, we're looking at three reds, three blacks from regular guys, two blacks from the... Um, you have the wrong dice pull in your hand. Two... I'm getting there. I'm getting there, Don. <laughs> I've got kidding. a lot of reds in there, I have there the, buddy. Oh, I just had two reds for the Wookiee shield. I'm so used to them. So three blacks, three reds uh, for the regular Wookiees, two blacks... Or for the regular world guards, two blacks for the Electro Staff, additional red for the... Uh, nasty with an aim against Yoda who has two dodges and one health. We don't surge. Let's see what we can do. It's a solid start for Yoda. Oh my goodness, guys. Solid start for Yoda. The Empire cannot catch a break at all in any way, shape, or form today. That's all right there. So Yoda two. will definitely spend two for his dodges here. Saves here. But that's not what we were hoping for with those numbers. Oh no, He's Yoda down. goes down. We're going to go ahead and go with my lone Wookiee here. He's going to go ahead and take an aim, and he is going to hit the solo remaining Magna Royal Guard. There's going to be two blacks and a red from Tenacity into our Royal Guard friend here. Spend the aim, giving it Pierce. You're looking at three Pierce, one, buddy? He did. He's only had one health up. Yep. I'll still just shoot so fun. He would have been dead anyways. So my stack, we got Special Forces, my last live Royal Guardian is this one. They'll go ahead and just take an aim, and they will um, try to kill that last Wookiee. Aim and kill a Wookiee. Okay, we have a red and a black for the regular guy, two black for Lecture Staff, and a red for Tenacity. With an aim token swinging on his three health Wookiee. Do you have any damage on him? Where's your three health? No, he's three. He's full health. Yeah. Only killed the Wookiee last time. Oh, look. Jeez. Put an aim. Oh, there's, there's three. We need. You'll get one. Don't one worry. shield You'll here, guys. One shield to keep this activation kick in. We did no, not get no. it. The Wookiees go down. Uh, my Wookiee defense dice have not been rolling very that's, well That's all. Wookiee defense dice. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and go with these Wookiees over here. Uh, they are going to go ahead and flip their shield. And then we'll do a move and a charge into some Stormies over here. See how that tastes for some breakfast. Okay. All right, because they have one wound on them, we get an extra red from Tenacity, two reds from our battle shield being in battle mode, and six blasts into these Stormtroopers. 
that's everything but one. So you are looking at eight. You know, two, four, six, eight. I'm, I'm a little surprised as close as it is. I, you know, people hate when I say dice, but. Yeah, yeah, that's. But, I mean, come on. The black dice tonight for me have been. Might have not. If, I don't understand. So two, four, six, eight red dice with a four troop. I blocked two out of eight, guys. That's pretty solid. So my stack, we've got a core. Let's go with these uh these boys here. The red boys? I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna move up so we can contest that point a little bit here. Move and contest, okay. I like it. Keep some guys kind of back in this little wing here for the other clone troopers across the river coming over. No, you don't have to worry about those. And we'll shoot your clones. Not my clones! Four white dice, surging to hit. All right, clones are fine. Oh, with the clones that just got shot at. Didn't even get a suppression, guys. We're going to take an aim. We're going to shoot into the purple stormtroopers that haven't gone in light cover. We'll go to the box. All right, so this is going to be five black dice in a light cover with an aim. We're going to go ahead and roll two of those. And cover's <laughs> going to eat one. You're looking at three, buddy. Oh, this is unreal. Starting Somebody to wants to do some black dice stats on this game for me. I would love to know what right, my... They roll decent there. I'll you did roll good save. We're stacking out a core. These guys have a suppression. We'll roll it off, hopefully. Nope, nope gonna hold on to the it. way the game's on. Right, one action for them. We'll just move up. Say excuse me to all these Wookiees here and land there. And then we're done. Excuse me, excuse, excuse me, excuse me. All right, going to go over here to my stack. It's going to be a clone or a core. We're going to go with these shinies over here. They're going to move this way. They're going to take a shot into the uh, the purple guys that moved up that way. And we will go to the box. Okay. All right. It's four black dice into light cover with their suppression. And you're looking at one after cover. Okay, have three left. Three left. Saved him. We're stacking the core. Move one. And then two to me. Have these Ooh, tying up some Wookiees. You kind of have to hold them back. That's rude. Bit. They weren't making it anyways. Yeah. Going to my stack here. It's going to be these Wookiees. We're going to. They've already been flipped to Battle Shield, so they're just going to start chugging to never make a difference in this he game. Needs offensive but, mode, but. Yes. Battle Shield, not Defensive Shield. I don't know. What do you want to call it? All right, last in my stack here. Oh, that's their token. That's their token. Me these clones, they're just gonna move and they're gonna move. Just make sure we're not moving too far away. Yeah, we can move just fine there. So they'll move over there. That's the last activation. I'll just show you guys this bomb card move. Ooh, ooh, ah, the bomb card moves. It moves, it moves. Oh, yeah, there's where my barn, barn, the barn cart, the bomb cart moves. Yeah, yeah. I had he had this clone, I mean, I had these two stormtroopers. He did not move that one across the river, so they were not contesting at the moment. Let's go to round number, what is it, five? Five, it's no jive, it's five. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Round five, Ryan went with that word in that text there. Which <laughs> that is push, buddy. Also, if you haven't seen, this beautiful human here is wearing the Gray Squadron Gaming shirt. If you're still yeah. watching and you would like a Gray Squadron Gaming shirt, our official shirts are now out. You may feel free to reach out to me or Dordon himself. On any of our I will socials. just direct you to Joe. So <laughs> yeah. you should probably reach out to Joe. Discord, Facebook, Instagram, you name it. Let us know if you want one. They are $25 shipped anywhere in the U.S. or $20 with $5 shipping. Whatever you prefer. $25 free shipping or $20 with $5 shipping. It's, you know, right. in the either US. way you'd like in the U.S. If you are somewhere outside the U.S., just message me. I'll let you know exactly what the cost is for shipping. I won't charge you any more than what they charge me. With that said, I gave my orders to the Royal Guards or the Commanders and those Royal Guards. And, uh, I went with just my stupid clones that I lost this game, so I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go these these world guards here. He's gonna go. We're gonna move two up to down one, and then just in case they really need something, they're gonna move along to back here. Tie them up over here. Melee them. Okie dokie. I suppose you're going to charge them too, huh? Probably. That's rude. So we got a black and black from the staff, a black red from the red guy, and a red from the nasty. No aims, no surges, just just, just straight up hitting him in the face. I think that's the best a, roll of the that's game. That's a pretty solid roll, buddy. That's legitly the best roll of the game for me right there. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We got uh, five red defense dice for these clones. And they're going to block everything <laughs> except for one. All right, we're going to go over to the stack here. It's our special forces. It's going to be these Wookiees over here. They are going to go ahead and move. And then we did measure it out, I believe. Yep, just into range two. So we'll take a shot into the red unit of stormtroopers. Just to put a suppression on them. And 
hope it'll slow them down. And we'll go to the box. All right, so it's going to be four black, four whites into heavy cover. Oh, Jesus. That's a good hit. Cover's going to take away these two. You're looking at three. Yes. You can't die. You can only see two. True. For now. Two go down. Kill two. Okay, so we're going to go with this purple unit here. Judging from a stack, you got a core. And he rolls the suppression off. That's oh. what we needed. I am not winning this game, guys. I made a big mistake last round with those clones right there. There. Right there. That's the clones. Right there. And then we're going to move again, I suppose. Yeah, you might definitely want to make sure you're within range one. Yeah, we're going to move all the way to this barricade because that's about as far as I can go. That sounds like a good place to be. All right, so my Hail Mary move here is going to be these clones here. We have to, uh, to do a speed one because of this difficult terrain into this stream and then we have to take a naked shot and wipe out that entire unit of stormtroopers four black dice no cover on the storms there's a chance man your clone dice have sucked this game there's not a chance oh that, no it was close it was close so my staff we got core we're gonna aim and punch the wookies aim and punching some wookies two black dice starting to hit with name it's been name token Alright, two wounds on the Wookiees. Oh, can I kill a Wookiee finally on this unit? You yes. can, yep. One Wookiee goes down. Alright, it's going to my stack. It's my last core of clones over here, and they're gonna move over here, and they're gonna be like, guys, we kicked butt over here. How are you doing on the other side? And hear crickets on the radio. Got them up. This core unit here, they have one suppression. We'll keep it, so that means we only get one extra, which means they're not gonna test this turn. But just in case all all H E L double hockey sticks breaks out, let's uh I mean this way. Unless I get like a magic unit that drops onto the field, I don't think we're gonna have to worry about I it. I don't know. Anything can happen in Legion. It's true, I guess. On the stack here, it's gonna be some Wookiees. Um we're just gonna sh hit these guys, hopefully kill them so we can charge that way to do nothing later. All right, so it's gonna be four blacks for our two remaining regular Wookiees, two reds for our battle shield in battle mode, and one red for tenacity. So you need to head into the two stormtroopers. It's gonna be a six pack for you, buddy. Okay. I'm pretty sure some dead stormtroopers, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe these are like the battle-hardened super armor stormtroopers. No, no they're, they're just they're the regular kind of stormtroopers. Low, but they did. I'm going with my commanding unit here. I'm just gonna kind of do do around this to about here. And then do do around this to about here. And they're just gonna be right there to help contest that cart. Sounds good. All right, going to my last unit of clones. Uh, for fun, we're going to aim and punch these uh, Royal Guards. So in another Hail Mary decision, I have not aimed. Those Royal Guards have three health left. Mm -hmm. If I can kill them, I can, I think, move to contest. Maybe. Let's see. Punch it. That's all I need to do it. As long as you roll some oh, blanks man, here, again. please. If you could leave roll blanks, you didn't. I got you one again. You again. Just enough again. In the round five, I move my card up. It is touching. Don's going to quits because he moved his cart twice to see if there was a purpose for round six. And after after one move from there to there and then another move to there, he's just shy of touching. Which means, You're already touching. Which means it's over for points. Um, he mentioned it. I think the, the, the crucial mistake was when he moved these guys here and shot and said moving them to the, light, to the river to contest that because it wouldn't have moved that round. So maybe I would be able to move one more time, but then he would have been able to bring the Wookiees, both Wookiees up, and I think that would have been game over there. Yep. Yeah. It was a very close game. Joe thought it was over around three. I still think it should have been over. This is one of those games where I won, but I'm kind of sitting there like, I shouldn't have won this game. I should, I should not have won this game. Not only did, um, I, oof. besides Palpatine Yoda, I don't, I don't know how I killed things on your side. I'm looking at your side. Chewie was killed because of Palp. He took eight or nine wounds from Palp. Chewie took six wounds from Palp. Or six. Oh, no, it was, no, it was eight. eight. It was eight. Yeah. It was eight or nine. He Yoda, eight eight. Yoda took four from, from Palp. Yep. So besides those two looking at, I've killed one unit of Wookiees. That, that's it. And killed one clone. <laughs> now you know how it feels. You didn't take out a whole unit of clones. I did not. I only shot them twice, though. That's but true. I did not. I was trying to kill the Wookiees, but the Wookiees, I, I know, with Yoda and Force Barrier, didn't help that my offensive dice, I think there was like six turns of, of the eight black dice. I was averaging a crit Three. and two hits, a crit and two hits, two mm -hmm. hits, three hits. So yeah, you did forget the uh, aggressive tactics. That hurt. Two. That I hurt. think there could have been a couple more hits. A couple more wounds, maybe, maybe one, one more or save. Two saves. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But 
No, this is one. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll sit down. This was, and I didn't realize until after the move, and I wasn't gonna go back for like you, sh you shouldn't do that. <laughs> but ah, that, yeah, that, I didn't, that one move did I it. I didn't math it correctly to to know that two speed ones would have gotten me. And I also think your other area you messed up a little bit was when when you moved, you were hyper focused on that uh, that world guards when your Wookiees alone could just contest them the whole game. And you could have just had one clone trooper go that way. And one, yeah, I could have this way. Clone go that way. I think it would have also helped a lot too. Probably. Oh no, it was a good game. This is, you know, Pelt Bomb Immobilize was uh, stupidly the successful Pelt against. Bomb. That was a very good Pelt Bomb. It was I mean, a weird Pelt Bomb. Because most Pelt Bombs you want to kill a lot of units with, right? Yeah, didn't kill anything with in it. In this list, you you wanted to do you wanted to hold Yoda where he was, and you wanted to to put some wounds out, and, and I mean, I kind of gave you Chewie, but I think had I let Yoda roll more defense dice, he would have died a attack or two sooner. Yeah, probably. And you could have Pelt. You know, help thin some more Wookies and. Yeah, weirdly, I was totally like, "Oh, it doesn't matter about your dice." But then I was like, when I won the roll off, I was like, "Wait a minute, I get to mobilize with this? That doesn't matter." Yeah, mobilize on my speed three turn, really. I didn't realize I don't play Palp enough or play against Palp enough to remember that. But um, he's interesting. I don't know. I feel like his card, his one pip card, could also could also give him like blast or sharpshooter too. So something, yeah, something to remove the cover. The cover hurts him. Because he doesn't have impact, and he's hard to get into melee, and you don't really want to melee with the palp. Yeah, you don't want to melee with the bomb because he's not versatile. So he can't shoot out of being engaged. Maybe that. Maybe give him versatile. If he, if he had versatile, well, maybe just the card. If the card gave him versatile yeah, for that even round, that one would help. That would make his bomb even more deadly. But it's a pretty deadly bomb. It is. The burst of speed on him is nice because it only moved it once, but what he did it was let me move in to be able to shoot before I had to... Um, start the pallet bomb. So I was able to get yeah, one attack that one plus bonus, the four more. Plus the four. Yeah, so that was nice. Yeah. Anger should be just staple to him because it was pallet really, bomb. Really, yeah, there's nothing, especially a three points. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just bonkers at three points, so. The Royal Guards do feel a little a little lackluster when they're next to the Magna Guards. They Compared to the Magna Guards? Yeah, I feel like they're, they're missing something. I mean, the... You didn't get to use it here, but the Guardian really helps them a lot. Yeah, I mean, it does. They, the Guardian's huge. That's what they're here for. That's 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 the biggest thing. In a similar list, the Guardian would... I mean, you Guardian a Stormtrooper one time. One time, yeah. Everything else I don't even think you actually had to Guardian Palp, because you put almost every wound on Palp yourself. You didn't shoot him. No, I didn't shoot you him at all. You never tried, so I didn't have to Guardian him. Yeah, I wasn't going to shoot Palp with three, four units of Magna Guards around him, so... Do the... Magna Guards search to hit, don't they? Magna Guards search to hit, yeah. Yeah, Royal Guards should search to hit. Royal Guards should search to hit. So I feel like. I don't know. It's, I a, think hot, the it's native, a hot take. The native... Uh, Reliable really, 1 yeah. would be nice, too. Yeah. Reliable would way. be great. And then their other weakness, I think, is that they have their immune pierce on this guy versus on the card, like the Magnus. But, yeah. Um, it's a different army. I get it. It's balanced differently. They're not bad units. I think they're really fun. I don't know if 4 yeah. is the right... The four, right seems 4 seems excessive. 4 seems excessive. I would have preferred maybe, like, 3 with a shoot gun, but it was really cool to see all 4... It was cool. It, it would have been a lot cooler had we had all four units of Magna Guards, but I don't know that we have a lot of Magna Guards in our area that I could have borrowed. You mean Royal Guards? You keep saying Magna Royal Guards. Royal Guards, yes. If I could have, I don't know. Oh, I'm sure Mike Josh has plenty. Oh, yeah, Mike probably has 35. But that's okay. But Shout yeah. out to Mike if you're watching. <laughs> and your 35 Royal Guard. Mike gave me this down tie fighter. That's who that's from. He always gives me training. I like Mike. Yep. Um, but yeah, thanks guys for watching. If you're interested, go check out J Squared. Code Pi has a discount code. Legion Train has a discount code. If you want a shirt, hit me up. We've got we've got a whole bunches now. We've got a couple. Other than that, Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. Thanks for sticking with us. We're gonna have some Shatterpoint. We're gonna have some Marble Crisis Protocol. We're gonna have a lot more Legion. We're gonna we're gonna bring in some Dom uh, X Wings and look at that new rules update stuff. on January sixteenth. New rules. We will be on top of that ASA. One of us is a lot of travel in, in like February, February so um. We'll get the new rules to you as quickly as we can. Hopefully, it's the weekend they drop, but we'll see. It might be a week or two after that. We'll, we're going to try to make it work. We'll, we'll put in our, our E for effort here for you guys. Yeah. With that said, have a good night. Bye.